I feel ratchet. That's only because I've been filming a couple of videos in the rain, and uh, yeah, it sucks. All right, so I'm out here in West Mifflin with Kayla. There's my girl. <laughs> That's my wife. Oh, you're fine. My wife-to-be. Anyway, yeah, we're out here in West Mifflin. Uh, we came out here. It was sunny, you know, and then the weather took a turn on me. But you know what? I don't care. I drove 30 minutes from our place to do this, but it is what it is. I'm going to film it whether it's raining or not. There's lightning in the air, so whatever. If I get struck, I get struck. I don't really care. No, I'm just kidding. Um, if it gets too crazy, I'm not going to film. I'll wrap up the video, but what am I doing? Let's go check out Steak and Shake, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's go check out Steak and Shake. I don't think we're going to get anything to eat, though. I'll show you why. There you go, guys. Steak and Shake. Now, this isn't necessarily abandoned. It's closed. How do I know this? Well, a couple of weeks ago when I was out this way with my friend Daniel and Kayla, when we were walking around Century 3 Mall and we went to the J.C. Penney's and whatnot, we were going to come here to get something to eat afterwards. The lights were all on, okay? Keep in mind, the sign here was lit. Full-blown lit. This sign was lit. All the lights were on inside, okay? Come over here. Come up to the doors see this sign and now the power's out but look at this this is like a middle finger to the face we have decided to close a steak and shake location okay now they want to franchise this out instead of being owned by corporate you know when will they do this i don't know why did they close it well you saw in the paper but nobody has claimed to you know nobody has claimed this like Nobody has franchised this out yet, so why didn't corporate just keep it open until somebody could make it a franchise? Now, I know they're going to be renovating it, yes, and installing new equipment, but we've seen this before. Remember the Dairy Queen I filmed in Green Tree? Oh, that lightning was close. <laughs> Remember the um, Dairy Queen I filmed in Green Tree? That had a sign on it, too, saying we're going to be upgrading, and they never did. Okay, that lightning couldn't have been that close because it still has... I still haven't heard thunder, so... Franchise opportunity. So they want to franchise it out, but they haven't got anybody to do it yet. And it's dark inside, so you can't really see much in there. Welcome to Steak and Shake. I don't know about the doors. No, it's locked. <laughs> yep. Can't really see inside, it's completely dark. You see a couple bar stools there, and like the the front of the bar, like where you would like pay. And like if you came by yourself and just wanted to get a quick bite in the claw machine, the the arcade games would be over here in this corner. I wonder if they oh they got they got rid of them, but please wait to be seated. There you go, look at that. Take home a shake. Take home a sack. Shake. Sack. That sounds really bad. <laughs> Take home a sack. Uh, okay. <laughs> There's a car in the parking lot right behind me. They were watching me. <laughs> that car right there. <laughs> I ain't doing anything, I swear. <laughs> what the hell is up with my voice? I ain't doing anything, I swear. <laughs> I'm so giddy, I don't care. That Whoa. <laughs> I keep seeing the flashes of lightning, but I don't really care. I'm still doing this for you guys. It's not like I'm in a big open field or near any standalone trees except like this one here. I should be okay. If it was really close, I wouldn't be doing this, so. The drive through. Looks like I'm not gonna get anything to eat. Oh yeah, look at that. Ask for Heinz. Yeah, the only ketchup of reason. Anything else is garbage. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a Pittsburgher. I'm saying it because Hunt's ketchup is terrible and so is every other brand. Treat yourself. 
Two for one dollar, 69 cents each for fresh baked chocolate chip cookies. Now, I just did have Steak and Shake a few nights ago up at Pittsburgh Mills, and that was the first time I had Steak and Shake in probably a year or more, because I don't go out to like fast food joints quite that often, you know? But after we got, uh, you know, catfished here, you know, at this one, we went to see Rift Tracks Live, Riff Octoman, if you're a Mystery Science three Mystery Science Theater 3000 fan, Rift Tracks Live fan. Kayla and I went to see that this past week, and they have a um, steak and shake out there. So we went there, and the food was really good. This is sad, man. Look at that. But yeah, we went out there, and we had a good time. And uh, they have these new four for four dollar menu options, and we both got like the classic uh, double cheeseburger, and it comes with like onions, pickles, tomato, lettuce, and comes with fries. And you can get another side like applesauce or onion rings or cottage cheese, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Those type, you know, those types of things. I cannot talk, man. Damn. So. And then it comes with a cookie as well. And the cookies were really good. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies, dude. <laughs> Man, I'm hungry. I love the uh, neon lights they have in there, too. Famous for our steak burgers. Hopefully this will come back. It's sad that it's closed. These signs on the wall are so cool. I've always liked that about Steak and Shake, like how, like, they go, like, old school with it, you know? They're not all hipster like a lot of things are today. You know, like, with a lot of fast food joints, like how they all look like shoe boxes, like Starbucks, the new McDonald's, Burger King, all them places look like that. Steak and Shake refuses to do that and keep this unique look, which is something I love. The aesthetics of Steak and Shake has just always been so cool. And even though I don't eat a whole lot of fast food or even like, you know, this is considered like a diner, a sit down where they wait on you and stuff. It's still kind of like fast food because, I mean, they have a drive through You still get your food within minutes most of the time. This is, I like this place more than a lot of the other places. So, that's pretty cool. I love that entrance. That's really cool. Four meals, four items, under four bucks. Under four bucks, are you kidding me? Four, uh, under four bucks, they are four dollars. Okay, okay, maybe three ninety nine, but after tax, it still comes to four twenty seven. Under four bucks, get out of here, wipe my ass with four bucks. <laughs> no, don't, I mean, I don't really want you to do that, but under four bucks, just say they're four bucks. Because in PA, tax brings up the 427. It ain't under four bucks. Get out of here. I'm hangry, sorry. <laughs> I'm such a dork. I put this hat on too, my snap on hat, just so I would feel like I'm getting less wet from the rain. Because my hair got soaked and I was getting soaked. My t shirt soaked. Whatever. I'm wrapping this video up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little hangry. You're hungry too, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Sucks that it's raining too, but whatever. Going to the drive through here. Sorry, we are no longer open. Oh no, I ain't getting out of here until I get some food. Yeah, hello? Hello? Just because you turn your menu inside out doesn't mean I can't still read it. Can I get the uh, the double cheeseburger for four dollars meal? Or I'm sorry, under four dollars, <laughs> which will come to four twenty-seven. Hello? Bullshit. Every time I go out to eat, they always do this stuff. Every place is always closed. <laughs> Can I get there without pickles and without onions, please? The other stuff's fine. Add ketchup. Heinz. 
Hello? Oh, uh, uh, and I would like an applesauce with that, too. And, and uh, we want a second order, but you can leave the uh, onions on. Take the pickles off and uh, blue uh, blue cheese uh, dipping sauce for it and double up on the fries. What do you want to drink? Dr. Pepper. Okay. Dr. Pepper and uh, the other one, Pepsi or Coke, whatever. Don't matter to me. Please, hello? All right, f*** this. It's raining. 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 You're going to hear about this. What the hell? I don't have very good hopes about this. Hello? Is somebody in there? Are you guys alive? You didn't all pass out from burger grease, did you? I know them steak burgers are just heavenly, but they're nothing to like die over. I mean, it's just steak and shake, not burgatory or other equivalent burger joints. There was one in Texas I went to, thanks to Kayla. It's called Shep's. Burgers were phenomenal. Press ball burger with that cream cheese on it. God, was that good. I know it's blurry, but I don't care. Dude, can I get a burger today, please? Why am I always getting shanked every single time I try to eat? Did you ever notice that, Kayla? It's a shame. All right, whatever. The hell with you, then. <laughs> there's Chick-fil-A Chick right over there. Maybe I'll just go over to Chick-fil-A. Pizza Hut. They got a Pizza Hut out here. Pittsburgh Dad couldn't find a Pizza Hut. There's one right there. I don't blame them, though. They are hard to find, so... We'll go to Pizza Hut. Alright, everybody. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. It's Steak and Shake. It is pouring outside. It's really irritating me with my wanting to film out here kind of deal, but... Blurry again. I didn't let that stop me. I still filmed anyway, so... To the rain. I'd give it the Polish salute, but uh, I want to keep this video a little brand for you guys. I know when I first started YouTube, I would swear and stuff like that, but I'm trying to be clean with it, you know, because of, uh, you know, children watch these videos, and uh, hi everybody, how you doing? Um, trying to keep them PG for you guys, you know, trying to keep them family friendly, so that's why if you heard any uh, sensor noise, like, which, whatever sound it was I picked for this video, um, I hope you enjoyed that when I was cussing, so thanks. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, please subscribe for more content. And uh, give a big uh, shout-out to Kayla for joining me on this video. I know she's hiding now because uh, the rain sucks, but hey, give her a shout-out for joining me on this video. So, you know, she's finally starting to come out of her shell a little bit, so she's not as shy and... Props to you, babe. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cold. Yeah, I know. It's it's starting to get lousy I'm outside. Cold. Yeah, look at her. She's all she's all covered in her jacket. I even got the heater on. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. So, uh, anyway, until next time, guys. Take care and stay awesome. And remember, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Talk to you later. Bye.